even at the ass Cause I bet you not one of the real ones hey. You don't seem like one of the real ones to me What is good, bro, squad? Listen Video I'm about to watch It says tabletop games And all right, well, we'll stop. let me do an intro. What is good, Brad Squad? Welcome back to Brad's World. Everything, anything can happen. When I tabletop games, bro, I don't care if it's Fortnite or I think I don't think I've ever raged so hard other than like Monopoly and Trouble, and I don't really rage at Jenga. Hmm. I think it's trouble, yeah, trouble and monopoly. I just get so f I get mad. Like I don't even get I don't get mad at Fortnite or Halo or whatever I'm playing, like any type of game like that. But like board games, they push me to the limit because they're so simple, but they're not. Because it's like only one way to win. I don't know, man. But I'm just. I'm a poor sport. Like, I hate losing. Especially these small little games. I don't know if you guys have have it on your phone. Uh, it's not sponsored at all. Um, I wish it was. But this game called Eight Ball Pool, bro. I throw my phone because of that damn game, and I I can't stand losing. Like my record on there with my girl is like, my girlfriend has like thirty four to eighteen games on me. <laughs> I don't even. I have glasses on all day and I still can't make that bitch in the fucking but they can't beat me in real pool but they can beat me in eight ball pool like I get so mad <laughs> alright I'm gonna leave the link in the description box down below if you guys wanna play eight ball pool with me just leave your, your name down below in the comments and I, I might play on I'm trying to stream it and probably end up breaking my phone I don't know but let's get straight into it I'm not talking about it anymore. I hate you! Oh! Well, next time, don't steal my Monopoly! Ariana, give James your $200 you landed on his property. No! He's in jail! I'm not gonna give money to a criminal! That's not how you pay! Mommy? Why is brother screaming? Shut the f up, Sally. You don't get to talk after stealing my last railroad. I wish I was never born! Me too! You think I wanted this? Ah! Hi. What you all just witnessed is the phenomenon known as Family Game Night. Family Game Night plays an I'm not surprised. I'm not. ...an important role in the household dynamic, as studies have shown that families who participate in activities together form closer bonds and stronger relationships with each other. So try set... The comment he just made... It could be... It, it could go two ways, depending how your household is. Because... I never played board games with my mom or my, my stepdad or anything like that. I only played with my sisters. And most of the time, I really want to ring the fucking necks because I, I was just losing. I'm a poor sport. I'm not even going to lie. I'm I'm competitive. I'm a competitive person. Everyone should have that mindset of being competitive because when you're competitive, you want to win. And it drives you to win. And I'm rambling again. And I'm hitting my con I almost say controller. My hand hurts. Setting aside some time to play board games with your family. And if they beat you, cut them out of your life forever. See? See? See what he just said? Exactly. But cut them out of your life. <laughs> okay. Have fun, you guys. I... Like board games. I guess any game that doesn't involve me getting up and moving around, I'm a huge fan of. Also, since I'm bad at everything and don't like playing games against someone who's better than me i really love the games that don't require any type of skill like the game shoots and ladders which i just learned today has another name called snakes and ladders bro i would get mad at Candyland. i barely knew how to fucking play that mm. and i'm gonna call it that instead because i'd rather draw snakes than shoots 
In Snakes and Ladders, you have no free will. You're at the mercy of a single dice, and I love it. While I was looking up walkthroughs for Snakes and Ladders, I quickly learned that this game was made for preschoolers, which is probably why it's so simple. Or how about the game Sorry, which is the most unapologetic game I've ever played. There's... Sorry. No, I'm not gonna show that, because I should probably get Hello Man. Some strategy in that game, but most of the time you're just getting revenge on the players who've wronged you. And the creators of Sorry knew this because the tagline of the game is Sorry, the game of sweet revenge. Which, if you think about it, is a pretty funny oxymoron. Aha! Take this! Sorry. I know how to play chess, but like most things, I'm not very good at it. Unless I'm playing against someone under the age of four, I don't want to play that game. Because it shows everyone how bad I am at planning ahead. That's a game that's 100% strategy based. It's like the IQ test of board games. Beating someone in chess will put you more ahead academically than anyone with a Harvard degree. And you'll get more babes. However- Someone's gonna teach me how to play chess, cause I don't know how to play chess. If it's online, I would love to play with you guys, like, in the comments. Just let me know if it's... I don't know. I love interacting with you guys. Side note. Back to the video. There is one exception, and that is it's okay to lose at chess if you're playing against a computer, even if it's on easy mode. Computers are way better at planning ahead than anyone, because I don't know how, but a human made a computer that can beat the world's best chess player, but the creator of the computer can't beat the world's best chess player. So I guess that means it's game over. We tried our best, but we've peaked. Whenever you beat a computer in chess, it was going easy on you. Imagine if we made a computer that could beat the world's best Snakes and Ladders player. I would pay money to see a Snakes and Ladders championship. And everyone watching knows that the person playing is just some Joe Schmo that acts like the world's best Snakes and Ladders player, but they're all still excited. And there's real snakes that you get to slide down? That would be amazing! Sign me up. <laughs> While we're on the topic of chess, I want to tell you about this cool sport I discovered called chess boxing. This is an actual competitive sport where two players play chess for three minutes, then box each other for three minutes. Yeah, I think Logan Paul and Case, I should have done this. Comment <laughs> and they keep switching between chess and boxing until someone either gets a checkmate, they run out of time playing chess, or they KO the other player. I love this sport because it combines two polar opposite games, and it's something that anyone can play. Brains over brawn. <laughs> Try saying that after I sucker punch you in the- Oh, that was... That was a good move. I'm gonna punch you so hard in the balls for that. I know I just said I was bad at chess, but if there's any YouTubers who want to challenge me to a chess boxing match, I will gladly take you to the ring and we can charge people $12 just to watch. And we can end it in a draw, you know, so that way you won't look bad in front of your fans. So Battleship, that's another... I don't know what you look like. I'll box you, Nicky. <laughs> Board game. And it also got a big Hollywood movie based off of it. How about, how about, how about we do like a, like a, like a, a, a trouble boxing. Cause I'm not, I'm not too good at chess. You said you're not too good at chess. I'm not, I'm not good. We should just play trouble and then box. I haven't seen it, but I hope there's a scene where the captain of the ship goes, men. Fire at D6. And then there's an explosion in the distance. And then Rihanna, who is actually in that movie, says, Sir, the alien sent a message. It says, Miss. And the captain goes, Hmm. Someone write that down so we don't forget. And then there'll be an explosion at the back of their ship. An alarm start going off. And everyone on board starts freaking out except for the captain. And he goes, Rihanna, send the aliens a message. Tell them, Hit. Also, ask them if they think the situation would make a good board game. And if that scene is not in the movie, I hate it. Did anyone else collect a bunch of Pokemon cards but never knew how to play the game? I don't... Wait a second. Let's see how many Pokemon can fucking... Do you have Pokemon cards? Alright. So I see... I see a Geodude. I see a Charizard. I see a Pikachu. I see a Totodile. I don't know what that one is. I think that's a Lucario. Ditto. Magikarp. Plays again, blah, 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 blah. They all look pretty much the same. I forgot what that Pokemon was. But I think I know what you was going to say, so I'm just going to keep going with this.
cards but never knew how to play the game, I don't think I met a single person who actually knew how to play the card game. Which was weird, because in my school, the card game was just as popular as the video games. Kids would always show off their collection of cards and binders, and everyone always wanted the highly coveted shiny Charizard card. You know which one I'm talking about. You know which one I'm talking about. Bro, that shit is worth so much money now, you have no idea. About, you know which one I'm talking about. Unlike Yu-Gi-Oh, which had dedicated episodes explaining why these five pieces of cardboard were expensive, the shiny Charizard was rare, not because it was good in the game, but because everyone agreed that it looked cool. But then when you ask someone, hey, do you want to play a game? They would say, okay, I summon my Charizard in attack mode. Does anyone even know how to play the Pokemon card game? I bet none of these guys even know what they're doing. How'd this guy win? He didn't even call Uno. I can't be too hard on the Pokemon cards because the card game I like is probably I never used to, I know the only card game I knew how to play was, was Yu-Gi-Oh. I didn't play, I collected Pokemon cards and stole them. <laughs> Guilty. Way more complicated than Pokemon. I don't know for sure because like I said, I don't know how to play the Pokemon card game, but my favorite card game is Neopets. I'm just kidding, that was a joke. Kind of. I did actually own a lot of Neopet cards. I don't remember exactly how to play. I do remember you have to get 20. Now I really want to box you. 21 points to win, which got me into playing blackjack, but it's okay that I don't remember how to play because no one else is playing this game. I wanted to find some footage of a Neopet TGC championship, only to come to the disappointing realization that no Neopet championship exists, which is sad. So, if there's any YouTubers watching who want to fight my Scorchio, square up. Okay, but for real, the card game I like the most is Magic the Gathering. And fun little factoid, all three card games I've mentioned were created by the same company, Wizards of the Coast. Hey, is that a Monopoly reference? I've been playing Magic since 2007, and back then the game was a lot more simple. Look at some of these more recent cards. First, see how many words are on them? And if we flip them over, they merge into an even bigger card. What? If you showed these cards to my 11-year-old self, I would have lost my marbles. My favorite thing about Magic is when Richard Garfield, I mean Dick Garfield, was first creating the game in 1993, he didn't really have an accurate way of testing the cards to make sure they're all fair and balanced, and he ended up creating some of the most overpowered cards in Magic. And players today refer to these cards as the Power Nine, because there were nine really good ones, which is why every single one of them... I remember like, when I was little, I went into a comic book store and they were playing this shit, and I was just like... What? Are you guys playing Yu-Gi-Oh? I look so dumb. Them is banned. Now don't get me wrong, the Power 9 are good cards, but none of them are like, you win the game good. Take this one for example, Ancestral Recall. All it says is, draw three cards, or force opponent to draw three cards. Which is stupid that they added that last part. Why would you ever give your opponent three more cards to beat you with? Now, I know what you're thinking. Wait, a slightly better Pot of Greed, which is a card that allows me to draw two new cards from my deck and place oh, them into my- No, he pulled the dual disc out. Bro. <sighs> my brother used to have a dual disc, and I put it on, and I, like, pressed the button, and it did the little thing, it smacked me in my face. I was like, I'm never putting this thing on ever again. Never. Hand is one of the top nine most powerful magic cards. Yeah. Pot of Greed is banned too. Games play such an important role in childhood, and here's what they all teach us. In Magic, if you're really good at what you do, no one will invite you to their tournament. Monopoly, white collar crime is okay. Battleship, just guess and check. Snakes and ladders, if you see a ladder, climb it immediately, and no one cares about Neopets. Now if you excuse me, I have to show this prison guard my coupon I have that lets me get out of jail anytime I like. And when all is said and done, I thought to myself, what can I do to help strengthen this weekly tradition of family game night? So I decided to create my own game based off one of <laughs> That's me. That's how mad I get, bro. I the most scarring events of my childhood. Many of you might recall the traumatic experience my sister and I had with Harry the Moth. And to help me cope, I decided to immortalize this memory by turning it into a card game. Introducing Can't Catch Harry. I let my Twitter followers decide on a name and they went with this one, so good job guys. Here's a sneak peek of some of the cards. I spent a lot of time working on this game and I know you're gonna like it. We got a lot of recognizable characters like Mr. Poe, Mom, Satan, and Sandwich Artist. We're launching the game on Kickstarter today, so check out the link in the description to get yourself a copy. We have different reward tiers like holographic cards, golden...
Okay, I think he just starts talking about his card game. Wow. Glad to know there's there's different people in this this world that act the same way, like uh, that act like me with tabletop games, you know, flipping tables and stuff. Cause, bro, I'm a poor sport when it comes to those games. I'd be like, run it back. I don't care if it's four o'clock in the morning. You haven't gotten any sleep. You've been up for twenty four hours. We're gonna run this shit until I fucking win. <laughs> but anyways, man, I hope you guys enjoyed that reaction video. Uh, there'll be more to come uh, this week. What's today? This week's almost over. Holy. Oh, mm, my God. Anyway, you guys. Um, I miss you guys a lot, by the way. Just, you guys. I don't know. I wish I could put those community statuses up, up on my thing, my YouTube. But I can't because I got to have more, more subscribers. So, if you guys are new, you know, click that button. Do, do the Naughty Gang thing. We, we don't have to. I don't have to. Say that because I'm pretty sure you heard every YouTuber on this damn planet, man, say it. So, uh, yeah, man, that, that's about it. But anyways, I'm in this video right here, and I said that again. I always say it. But uh, remember, guys, I love you guys, and I got you. Peace. Uh, so, so, so.